Hey everyone, welcome to the video. Thanks for joining me. It's episode 800, which is kind of crazy to think about because when I stopped posting on the original Post to Post channel, I think it was around like 970 episodes that I did and we're already up to 800 on this new channel. So it's kind of crazy to think about really in a way that it's really kind of grown or I've, I've done that many videos uh, in, in such a short amount of time. So it's cool, but it's really kind of like, it kind of sets me back a little bit that I've almost made more videos on this channel than I have on the original post to post channel. That's kind of crazy to think about. So I really just want to take this opportunity to talk to you guys, I guess not really, not necessarily talk to you guys, but I want to learn more about you. So yeah, some of sometimes you comment down below in the comment section. Some people comment every single video and I really appreciate that. That guys, thank you so much for the engagement. Some people like every video. I really appreciate that. Thank you for all the likes and all the comments. And um, it's, it's great. I read all the comments. There's some periods of like two to three days where I'm literally so busy that I, I don't have time to check comments. So I do apologize. That's happened maybe three times in the past 12 months. So I, you know, I, I read 99% of the comments, but I want to get to know you guys a little bit more, but it's going to be difficult because I obviously I can't see you and I can't necessarily know your name because some people don't post uh, in the YouTube comments with their actual name. Maybe they're have account that says crackerman86 or something like that. I don't know what your name, I don't know what your name is, but I don't know your name for a lot of you and I don't know where you're from. I'm not going to ask for your name because it it doesn't really matter that much and I know understand them for privacy reasons, but if you are commenting behind a hidden account or whatever, I'd like to know where you're from. Like it's, I'm really curious to know where my audience is from. I can check the analytics and I can tell that most of my viewers are from the United States and the second most is, is Canada and whatnot. And you know, Australia is in the top five as well, which is kind of cool. But I, I I would like to know like specifically where you're from. And I don't mean specifically as in your address. Do not post your address in the comment section. I mean, what city are you from? What state, what province? You know, where, I live in Fredericton, New Brunswick, Canada. For those of you who don't know, hey, I'm a Maritimer, but uh, I'd like to know where you're from. Like, it'd be really interesting to hear if someone's from, I don't know, from, from living in Miami. I've never been to Miami, so maybe I'll ask a question or uh, maybe you're in Australia. I would love to go to Australia and, uh, you know, make a connection there or something like that. So it'd be really cool to, to hear where you guys are from. I have a lot of favorite provinces and a lot of favorite states, and I've been lucky enough to travel to, I think, 26 states in the, in the USA and almost all of the Canadian provinces. So I've got North America pretty well covered as far as travel. Definitely still a lot of places I need to go, but uh, in general, it'd be cool to hear where you're from, to see if I've been there before, to see if uh, it's been close to where I've been, and uh, really just to kind of learn more about you guys. And I'm... it's difficult, right? I mean, you guys see my face every day, unfortunately, my face. Um, but I don't see yours. I have no idea what you look like. I have no idea how old you are. I don't know what you do for jobs. I don't know what you do for a living. I don't know if you're in school. You could be married. You could be single. You could be uh, alone forever. <laughs> I, I, I don't know anything about you. So it's really difficult uh, for me to connect, I guess. Like, I'm trying to think of the right words to kind of describe this. It's a, I'm in a very interesting position where I talk to a lot of people, but I don't know anybody. <laughs> so I, I've obviously made some pretty good friends like T Park from Texas, who now lives in Maine, Joey from Maine, Mika from uh, Finland. Uh, you got uh, Kale out there, out in the West Coast in Calgary. Uh, there's Audie out in the West Coast. Uh, there's Andrew in, in Ontario. There's all kinds of people that, you know, that I've, I've definitely met and gotten close with over these past, uh, I guess, four years or whatever. But I still, I still feel empty a little bit when I see people commenting a lot, like people who comment a lot, but I still don't know anything about them. I feel like, you know, we've had conversations, but I don't know anything about you. So if you want to take the time and let me know if you're, you know, if you're going to school, you know, what, or a job, whatever, what you do for work without being obviously too detailed and giving away too much information for privacy reasons and stuff, I'd like to know more about you to try to kind of relate who you are, or at least where you are with your username for the future if you comment and be like, oh yeah, that's Daniel from Wisconsin or whatever, so yeah. How's it going, Daniel? You know, stuff like that. So uh, I appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching. And uh, thanks for thanks for being with me up to 800 episodes. Here's to 800 more. We're close to 1,000. I've got uh, I've got a contest coming, which is probably the most intense and, and incredible prize I think I've ever given away. Uh, I had something in the works for a couple of months ago, maybe three or four. It just didn't pan out. It was there was going to be a lot, a lot given away, like as far as like value. 
this isn't necessarily like super valuable, but it's really unique. It's really cool. It's going to be great for the uh, jersey designing community. I'll say that. And uh, really cool for me as well. So I'm excited for it. I'm potentially working with two brands to pull it off. And uh, that's coming maybe as soon as next week, which is which is really cool. And what else is what else is coming? What else can I tell you? Um, I just started a series where I kind of reviewing every single team. You know, will the Carolina Hurricanes do better next season? Will the New York Islanders do, uh, do better next season? Really quick videos, hopefully under five minutes each, just giving my quick takes on the team and if they're going to do better next season. So I'll be starting that. I think the first video released yesterday, maybe. I'm filming this on a Thursday, but you're going to see it on a Friday, which means the video that I filmed earlier, you would have already seen, which was yesterday for you, <laughs> I think. So what else? Hmm. More Jersey Concept videos coming on Fridays, obviously. Um... What else? I don't think there's anything else too pressing at the moment. I've started to kind of post on Discord when I'm going to release a video and you know, post a thumbnail. I can't always do that because sometimes I don't create my thumbnails till last minute and stuff, so I don't always post on there. But if you want to join the Discord, link is down below in the description. And I think that's probably it. There is a post to post Instagram. It is also linked down below in the description if you want to follow me on Instagram. I'm going to start to hopefully post more on there. I've really neglected it. But the best place to reach me, like if you want to get in contact with me, you've emailed, you've emailed me, you haven't heard back from me, there's like 150 emails constantly and always in my inbox that I have to respond to. I just don't have time to, to respond uh, in a timely fashion. So if you really need to get a hold of me, go to Twitter and tweet at me. Do not DM me on Twitter. Do not DM me on Instagram. Do not uh, email me. If you need to get uh, contact me, ASAP tweet at me or tweet and then mention me in the tweet. I will. I always check my, my Twitter notifications and I will see it and I will try and respond. Um, but if you are waiting on an email from me, I'll try and respond to you as quickly as I can. But if you're going to Instagram to contact me, you will almost 100% not get a response. And definitely not my personal account. Like I, I kind of advertise my personal account when you see my name come up on the screen, whatever. I just post my photography there and I haven't really even posted in the past year and a half. So. I appreciate your willingness to, to reach out, but Instagram is kind of a no-no as far as communication with me. Email, if you have to, Twitter's the best spot, so that's kind of the best way to, to get a hold of me. I don't have my DMs for Twitter notifications turned on, so if you DM me on Twitter, I'm not gonna see it. Like I responded to someone the other day from, I think they messaged me May 13th. It's August what? It's August 12th, and I just noticed, I guess it would've been August 11th, I just noticed yesterday that that's, I had a message there from May 13th or whatever it was. So not the best idea to <laughs> private message me on, on Twitter if you want to get hold of me ASAP. But I, I appreciate you. Like, I enjoy having the conversations. It's just a matter of uh, lack of available time. I work a full-time job, and then I run this channel, and then I do some design work on the side and stuff. So I don't have a lot of free time, but I appreciate uh, appreciate the conversations, and I appreciate your willingness to, to reach out. And, uh, yeah. All right, guys, thanks. I, uh, I'll talk to you later. Happy, hope you're having a, an awesome day. Thanks for 800 episodes, and talk to you soon. Adios.